If you are a security researcher, you must be wondering what to do with your spell deck. Obviously, you can go hunting for bug bounties, but sometimes you want to do something different, something more creative and out of the box. So here in this video, I'm going to share with you five types of fantastic side projects that you can work on, which will definitely help you level up your game against your colleagues. First, build your own lab. The advantage of building your own lab is that you can try the latest exploits without getting afraid of being caught or destroying someone's computer. How helpful that can be. So go to your neighborhood computer store, grab an 8 port LAN switch and borrow the computers your friends are going to throw away. Install all the operating systems you want and make them talk to each other. Damn, you are now the king of your own network. I still prefer the physical network over a virtual environment because being able to reboot a machine by pressing the button is an awesome feeling. Second, make a malware analysis sandbox. Malware isn't going to go away. In fact, most of the antivirus companies believe that they have lost the war against malware. Simply because more and more malware is being produced every day and there are very few researchers out there. This is where a virtual machine would come handy. Create a VM of the OS of your choice. Install monitoring scripts that will keep track of the file system, network and process activity and then load and execute the malware. It will help you understand the internals of the operating system as well as the functionality of the malware way before the reverse engineers are able to. Third, Website Scraper A website scraper is a very important tool in the internet age. But more importantly, the website scraper is the base of every web vulnerability scanner out there. When you build the website scraper, you get to understand how HTTP requests work, the advantages of the HTTPS protocol, flaws of cookies and session IDs, bypassing CAPTCHA, DDoS attacks and much more. In fact, you get bonus points if you are able to bypass the web, your bug bounty might come much sooner than expected. Fourth, Keystroke Logger. A Keystroke Logger is a fantastic tool for security research. In fact, there should be a whole subject in graduation dedicated to this tool. Take the challenge of building a software that monitors activity of a computer like keystrokes, mouse clicks, files opened, emails sent, etc. This should happen in the background without taking a lot of system resources and without triggering the antivirus. Also, can you make it run at boot time and hide it from the list of active processes? 5. Log Analyzer One of the most repetitive and essentially boring tasks security experts must do is log analysis. The traditional way of log analysis is, is time consuming just like finding a needle in a haystack. No matter how good you get at grab, set and awk, this thing takes a veil of your time. If you could write a tool with the help of some machine learning techniques that would analyze the logs and present the results in a short and concise way, you would be the next god of cyber security. And if you are not much of a programmer, you can still use Plunk or Elk or anything like that to get the results you want. I tried all these projects at various stages of my career and I find them very helpful because they gave me a very clear perspective. So what are you waiting for? Get started with the one that suits you the best and do let me know if you need any kind of help. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.